5,000 joyous miles of sun-swept ocean wave are ahead of you as you leave New York for the two weeks coast-to-coast -coast voyage. California is at your journey's end, and Havana and Panama, with the marvelous canal, are ports of call between. As the great ship takes up her course, she gathers speed silently and surely through the miracle of electric propulsion. Two great driving motors together exert 17,500 horsepower, noiselessly and without vibration. The engineers at their posts and the captain and his officers on the bridge assure a precision of movement throughout the voyage to which earlier navigators were strangers. On a map of old buccaneering days may be traced the ship's route through romantic seas in the wake of the old sea rovers. How much the buccaneers missed in not being able to drop in for a friendly day's visit at colorful Havana and delightful Panama. With your first full day at sea, the pleasant routine of the voyage begins, perhaps with exercises in the gym or an informal setup drill on deck. or if you are particularly kind to yourself, breakfast in bed. After breakfast, shopping may be indulged in. The ship's novelty shop carries an excellent display of foreign perfumes, articles of clothing, including bathing suits, toilet accessories, books, photo supplies, and travel souvenirs. Another service feature on board is an alluring playroom for the children, with an understanding nurse in charge, relieving mothers of many an hour of parental care. On every voyage, a children's party is given, usually with the captain in command. Every day by mid-forenoon, life on deck is in full swing. Sky deep blue, sea rippling and sparkling under a gentle trade wind, the ship speeding steadily on. At such a time, mere living is a delight, and as Walt Whitman says, you may truly loaf and invite your soul. The broad promenade deck has the animation of the boardwalk at a fashionable shore resort, and refreshment is not wanting, an important consideration in the brisk sea air. Stewards here serve bouillon at 11 and tea at 4. Sports go on vigorously every day. Shuffleboard, the seagoer's standby, and deck tennis, a lively game, played with rings instead of balls, and developing skill and exciting emulation in young travelers. But the palm of popularity must go to water sports, for the two great deck pools, each holding nearly 90 tons of sea water, are in use from morning to night. Girls sprint for a prize and do stunts. This they call the snake crawl. Underwater pictures may be taken with the camera at the bottom of the pool photographic novelties originating on the Panama Pacific Line. A lad wins a contest by picking up plates at a depth of eight feet. Watch him come up. Two cameras were used for this.
Action, comradeship, and comedy, with youth at the helm and pleasure at the prow, mingle at the swimming meet. <laughs> Even the ship's fat man contributes a stirring number to the program, as he does his dog in the pool. At the end of the day in the open and preceding dinner comes the social hour in the softly lighted smoking room. Below decks, more than 200 experts in service follow their allotted tasks intent on producing and serving perfect meals. The butcher is proud of his heavy cuts of prime beef. Meat cooks broil thick steaks over charcoal, the only fire in the big electric kitchens. The bakers turn out their loaves from electric ovens using 15 tons of flour in the course of a round trip. Fish and roasts and soups are cooked by huge electric ranges. There are ten of them. In the dining saloon, seating 300 or more, individual orders or formal meals are served with equal care. And what is important in sailing through the tropics, in a measured temperature, for the room is air conditioned. Evening brings its own diversions. Once on the voyage, a fancy dress ball is held, and improvised costumes win laughs and prizes. Once also, a concert is given for the seamen's charities, at which perhaps the captain may sing a chanty one of those old working songs of sailors that now have a popular revival. My first number will be a shanty that used to be sung by the 49ers when they sailed around Cape Horn. It is entitled California Hole. As I was strolling down the street, who down, who down, a charming girl I chanced to meet, who down, who down, day. So life on board goes on serenely day by day, varied and colorful, full of zest and contentment, as the giant liner pursues her undeviating way from coast to coast over sapphire seas. <laughs> 